Kubernetes allows you to use industry standard components to build applications that scale to your application needs without having to worry about vendor lock-in, and it allows you to deploy anywhere. It's kind of the next step into application deployment and ensuring uptime. The benefits of Kubernetes came out of the whole proliferation of containers was when it first started. And so how are you going to orchestrate all those? And if you don't have something that controls them, then you have chaos. It all comes down to how you're deploying your applications, first of all, right? Uh, what we're seeing a lot more is that companies are moving their monolithic applications to containers as part of CI CD pipelines, much more lightweight components that work together. And a good way that your applications can benefit from that is by deploying each of those components into individual containers or individual pods within Kubernetes. The best benefits are the ease of deployment and ensuring that uptime for your customers. One of the challenges of securing Kubernetes is being notified and alerted when things change in real time. Kubernetes is not for the faint of heart. If it sits as a, at the center uh, of your orchestration that orchestrates not only containers, but your, your greater platform, you need somebody really smart and people to, to run it and to put it together. The biggest challenges, in my opinion, would have to go with that learning curve, which a lot of people are going through, but then also the security of this new way of tech. The challenges of Kubernetes is its complexity. Kubernetes is, um, as the ecosystem has grown, starting to grow under the weight of such complexity. It'll be interesting to see what kind of new features might be put on top that will take away the, uh, the spotlight as containers took it away from Puppet, as, as Kubernetes taken away from Docker, and, and from there. So, those are my thoughts.